so good morning you guys i'm coming to you guys to explain my video that you guys want to watch after this is that me using the cream by itself without no tcap at all i did not want to take that damage on my face but the cream works by itself it does not work overnight believe me it does not work overnight it takes time and i have to have patience so this is my result as of february the 25th and I don't remember how long I've been using the cream. I put each date on the the video of when I start using the cream and everything. So you will see before and then this is how it looks right now. So it does work. But not everyone's going to get the same result as I do within the week or the two weeks. It takes time. Not everyone's skin is the same thing. So I haven't used the cream for about two weeks now. As you can tell, my face is still coming along I wash my face every day with the soap with a skin whitening soap and the one I use is um what the hell is it called Cara 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 right something like that that I bought from my local beauty supply store and I've been using that for years now and it works perfectly for me because it doesn't it doesn't burn my skin as the the soap that I bought from Amazon. I don't know what the name of it, but I'm gonna leave it in my description box or so below. But that's my favorite, favorite soap to use, and I scrub my skin delicately, not too hard, because over time your skin's gonna look very like it's like it needs to be scrubbed off. So just take your time. It does it peel. It's not gonna come off all at once. You have to take your time. And when you get the result you want you can stop if you want you can stop using the cream if you want but I personally still using it but not every day as how I would normally do like if I put the cream on today's lotion and took a shower tomorrow I might not put it on so it it really depends on, on your preference so yes it is permanent what do you guys think it might go back it is permanent I haven't went back for it haven't changed it haven't changed for me at all i'm still working on my neck as of right now and over here my side of my face like right now so yeah thank you for watching if you have any question i will try to answer as much as possible for you guys and all right stay tuned for my next video so this is day one of me using the cream I did use a small amount and mixed it with Jamaican curry and this is how it looks after I left it on my face overnight it was dried up and so this is just my preference you don't have to use this if you don't want to the soap I used to wash my face off the sick the next day it I will leave it in the description box below mainly because I only use it once on day one mainly because the soap was super strong I did bought it from Amazon though it was super strong and it burnt my face for the first day so I didn't feel like using it over again to keep burning my face every time I use it and this is how my face look after washing it and it's still day one so you can tell I have a lot of spots on my forehead and it got super red the same day when I went to work this is my face after yesterday it's very red as you can tell my nose and right here like I have sunburn on my forehead it's very red and it's starting to little spots of stripness right here which is that's a good thing it was more red yesterday but it's calming down now so it's a good thing so it got even more red when I went back to work this the second day so my face is starting to strip me I'll stay around my chin area yeah it's starting to dry up and chip and strip off so I put cream mm. Some more on my forehead. 
I'm staying on my forehead because. Still have spots everywhere. So after rubbing the cream in in my face, this is how my face look. As you can tell, there's a lot of spot that needs to be coming off, like around my jaw area and all that. So this is day five. I know you guys are asking me why do I skip in between days, mainly because day one and two is the same as three. And all I did was just sometimes I paste the cream, sometimes I rub it in. It depends on however you want it. I do both. I wanted to show you guys how my face looks like right here are all dried spots that's gonna peel eventually. Like as you can tell right here is peeling. See, it's gonna peel eventually. So right here are dry spots. Mm -mm. My forehead is also peeling. As you can tell my eyebrows. So this is how it looks when I paste it on my face. I'm gonna do some house cleaning. That's why I paste on my face. I will I'm going to work today, but I have about three hours before I go to work. So yeah. Using so the soap I'm using in day eight is not the same one as day one, because as I told you, I did not use the the same soap that I did use in day one, mainly because it was super strong. So I'm still gonna leave, leave the name of the soap in the description box below. For you guys to know and I love this soap it's been working perfectly fine for me I just figured I would try a different soap in day one and it did not work out for me so so in this so as you can see that there's still strips on my face like peels that need to be scrubbed off so be, please do not scrub your skin too hard, just gently. You don't have to get every strip off in just one day. Just gently scrub what can be comes off. Because if you scrub it too hard, I promise you it's going to hurt and it's going to irritate your skin. Just take your time. So this is how my face look. So... Let's get in there. We can tell. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Right here are my hardest spots to get rid of. My forehead is gently going. But let's get in there. So I'm going on my way to work now. So all I do for work, instead of make it pace on my neck, I just rub it in. Like a like a lotion and just rub it in i don't paste it to i'm going to work i just rub it in like a lotion so i just came home and i put the cream on my face i don't sleep on my face so i'm fine i can sleep with it on my face like this because I, I don't sleep on my face or i can just i will be up for about two three hours so eventually it'll be dried up by then which is a good thing so yeah my face is coming to a good thing. No, I'm gonna show pictures how it look before I start doing my face. So remember when I tell you guys to be careful when exfoliating and scrubbing skin too hard. This is what happened. I scrubbed my skin too hard to the point where it got very red and irritated and it burns like hell. So after that, I didn't put anything on my face. All I did was rub coconut oil and I went to bed and the next day it was fine. So this is my face as of today, which is January the 31st. And my face looks fine. The redness is gone and everything. And as you can tell, the inner part of my face comes off better than the outer layer of my face. So my main focus right now is my between my jaw all the way down. To my neck area 
This is February the 1st, and all I did is rub the cream in and went to work. So I'm at work, and my face is getting very red, as you can tell, mainly because it's super hot, and I'm sweating, so it's going to get red. So you can turn sideways, you can tell. And this is February the 4th of how my face look right now. It is getting light and the spots are gently fading away. So my cheek is the problem I'm working on right now. And this is how my face looked before I started this. My forehead had a lot of spots and my side of my face had a lot of spots. My eyebrows, over my lip, my nose, and my cheek. And this is how my face look as of right now, which is February the 6th. As you can see, the spots on my forehead has gone a little bit. And I promise you guys, I'm not even wearing foundation. This is just eyeshadow and eyebrows. I'm not even wearing foundation at all. My face is, cheeks are very red because I was outside in the sun. And I promise you guys, this is how my face looks right now.